Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of what's going on at Bryce Life Albion. Um, obviously it's been a while since I've done one of these episodes. Um, for you that don't know, I am from Brighton and I am a Brighton supporter. Um, now, this is the first time I've actually had time to reflect on last season. I know it's been a few weeks, but there still is a lot going on in the world of football. Um, my overall uh, aspect of the all overall uh, season, I thought it was pretty poor. Um, I think Brighton were very lucky to stay up. Uh, I know some of you will disagree, but that's your opinion, it's just mine. Um, but, you know, Brighton have got a third season in the Prem. I'm well chuffed with that. Uh, Obviously, since the last time I've done a Brighton video, Chris Shooting has gone. He got sacked, and we've in and we brought in Graham Potter for the Swansea. Um, so here's a few players that I think he needs to sign and give a chance in that blue and white jersey for the up and coming Premier League season. So the player I'm going to start up with giving a chance is Aaron Conway. Aaron Conway done brilliantly for the reserves. And then Chris Shute, instead of bringing him in, into the first team at Brighton, sent him out to Luton to get some League One experience. Um, now I know it's a big call, step, call, call up, step, whatever you want to call it, to the reserves to the first team. But unless you give that player a chance, you'll never go really know. Um, so I'm expecting and I hope to see him in a blue and white jersey for the next season in the first team. Um, a few players uh, I think we should sign or try and sign. Um, a few of them, I want a freebie. Um, you know, and a few of them, I know there's more than one club after them, so it less won't likely happen. Obviously, our transfer budget, we've got to take into account, whatever that is. Um, but let's see how we go. I explain who's on a freebie, and I think we be good in our team um, but you know what to do guys subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's get into this and um, the first player I'm going to bring up is James Milner Liverpool where do I start with him great leader now we have lost our captain uh, due to retirement um, you know it's one of the things with retirement that you do have to refill that space I think James Milner even though he's only got one two years maybe left in himself I do think he'd be a great signing for us. And yet again, it's a freebie. So before you lot start going about wages, he's either, you know, saying goodbye to the job or he's getting more money. So, you know, he's going to be an excellent uh, player if he comes into our squad. And as I've already said, he's another great leader behind Lewis Stunk. Um, the next player I'm going to bring up, now he has scored against us at the MX. And I think he scored against us away as well. Um, Alexandra Mitrovic. Um, Mitrovic, I do think, is a great player overall. I think the way Brighton are looking to play football under Graham Potter, he will fit into the squad. I think what Graham Potter's got to try and do with his 4 4 2 is sort of go for a 4 4 2 into a 4 2 4, where you've got the wingers and then you've got the two, cent two strikers and then you've got the centre backs holding back. Um, but yet again, I think um, Mitch Fish would be a great signing for the club this coming season. Obviously, put your opinions down below in the comments below as well. Um, but, you know, he has got the goals in him. And I don't think the championship is the right level for him. I think he deserves to be in the Prem. And so, you know, let's sign him up and let's give him a chance. Um, you know, this is where it nearly cost us last season was a lack of goals. Um, the next player, now I know we're not the only player interested in this guy, so it less, it less won't likely happen, and he is in the playoff final uh, for Villa tomorrow, as I'm recording this. Um, it's Jack Greenlish, excellent midfielder, overrated midfielder. How the guy's not in the England squad, I think what Gareth Southgate said earlier this season is out of order to him. So and he's not being considered for the England team because he's not playing in the Prem. This guy needs to be in the England team. This guy could 
do things that I've only seen that really special player do. Um, Brighton, I'm not going to say we're struggling for midfielders, but I do think we need to get better players in our midfield, uh, you know, in certain areas. I'm not saying out in the wings, either I'm saying more central. Some of you might agree, some of you might not. Um, but yet again, getting Jack Greenish into the Brighton team will be an absolutely brilliant signing for the club. Um, you know, seeing him in the blue and white shirt, I would, oh, I love it. Playing against him, on the other hand, I really do fear him. Um, you know, playing in the Aston Villa shirt, He's one of them players where you like every time he's getting the ball, he's got to score, he's got to score. Hope not, uh, whichever way it goes. Um, unless he signs for us, and then yes, I do want him to score. Uh, the next player, yet again in the playoff final tomorrow, Harry Wilson had a brilliant season for Derby, yet again a centre midfielder. Um, you know, Newcastle, and not Newcastle, Liverpool under 23 player. He's not getting a chance in the squad. Uh, why don't we bring him into the MX and let's see what he can do. You never know, he could brighten up our midfield and, you know, actually do, uh, how do I put it politely? You know, have a few shots outside the box or pick our team up now and again when it's needed. Um, this is another freebie. Some of you might not be happy with this, but I won't quite matter. Now, being a freebie is basically no transfer fee. You just have to do his wages. Excuse me. Um, you, you know, you just have to do his wages. Now, yet again, he is pushing the end of his contract, but we do need players like him in the squad, I do personally think. Um, I like to see him down on the south coast. You know, every time he plays for United against us, he is a player I do rate um, from time to time, especially how United have come down here at recent times and not played brilliantly. So, you know, this is another player we do really have to look at and possibly bring in. The next player is... Now, this player has had a loan spell for us. Uh, in previous years, James Wilson. James Wilson, a main night player, not getting in that first team squad uh, at Old Trafford. Is it more than likely he needs to come down to Brighton and help our striker issues? I personally do think he will help the striker problem. Um, obviously, we've only got the likes of Andone, um, McCardia, uh, Glenn Murray, um, Aaron Cresswell, if Cresswell gets into the squad, I might still think we need another strike up there just to double make sure that we're safe in that area. Uh, you know, playing a 4-4-2, two get injured a week, then you're down to two. So that's a really crossy line that I do think we need that extra striker for. Um, James Wilson had a brilliant nose spell at the club. Uh, put pen to paper. I reckon it'd be a pretty easy signing, to be all honest. Um, He's still young as well, uh, you know, let's get him in, and yet again, let's see let's see what we can do. I think our problem, um, one of our main problems is, we're not clinical in front of goal. Glenn Murray's done his best, but, you know, he can't do it all by himself, and I think he's crying for help once Chris Shooting, whereas Chris Shooting will give him the help, now we will get the help, but now I do want to look a bit like the England squad, a bit younger players, and bear in mind, uh, Alessandro Mitrovic, no matter what you think, is in his middle 20s. Um, the next player I want to bring up, and he's good if he's injury free, is Danny Welbeck. Um, Danny Welbeck, you know, play for Arsenal, play for United as well. Done excellent for Man United back when he was there. Um, you know, where can you go with Danny Welbeck? In, as I said, injury free could be a great player. But yet again, he can be our last 10 minute man, and he still is young, so he can still have that speed. Um, but, you know, do you think Brighton will go for him? Uh, I think it's been an iffy move if Brighton do, but, you know, we're, we've probably got other transfers in, in mind. This is just mine. Uh, this is my last plan I'm going to talk about. Um, some of you would not be happy. Some of you would be over the moon, um, 
purely because he used to play for Crystal Palace. Uh, I'm on about Dwight Gale. Now, before you start, <laughs> please give me a minute to explain. Dwight Gale has done an excellent loan spell for West Brom. He's not happy at you, Castle. Dwight Gale scores goals as well, which what we desperately needed going into our third Premier League season. Um, you know, it's great on the wings if we're short in the, in the ring, wing department. Um, you know, he's got more than one position in his game. Uh, personally, I think he'd be an excellent signing for the club. Uh, I don't know how you fans can take it, but as I said, put it down in the comments below. Um, but, you know, uh, guys, put down in the comments below how many of them signings you want to see in. Is there anyone in particular you want to see in the blue and white shirt for the next Premier League season? The transfer window is open. Let's see who we can get in. Put your comments down below who you want to see in the Brighton shirt. So, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.